With spring break coming to an end, some students will be going back to their classrooms next week. There are renewed efforts to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Manola Morales reports. One way to stop the spread of the virus, free COVID tests. The State Department of Health is giving them out today and tomorrow at UH West Oahu. The OH is asking students and teachers to take advantage of the rapid COVID tests as they get ready to go back to the classroom starting next week. Some of the families we spoke with also traveled during spring break and wanted to make sure they haven't contracted the virus. Travel in itself, I think, is, is a risk. If you're in a, an airplane where the, the crowded conditions are in an airport, you know, the exposure is more than what we usually experience in the community. The Department of Education says schools will start bringing more students into classrooms throughout the semester. And while the CDC allows the students to be three feet apart, schools will still try to keep children ideally six feet apart. But if it's not possible, schools should ensure open air ventilation, utilize air filtering systems, and keep students within established cohorts. Colleges are also taking extra steps while UH will continue with online classes there was an outbreak at the dorms last month. The spokesman says emails were sent out to students to make sure to follow safety guidelines, especially if they travel. Other colleges are going with a hybrid of online and in-person classes, so some of those students chose to get tested today also. I'd rather be safe than sorry, and just to make sure that I don't have the virus, because um, I've been hearing people like around me where I work have been testing positive. The health department says it plans to hold more of these free COVID test screenings at underserved areas to make it more convenient for residents at different parts of the island. We want to make sure that we're reaching all the communities in the island. And uh, so this will be part of a continuing effort to try to do that. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.